How it's made, Tesla Cybertruck. Tesla unveiled the electric pickup truck Cybertruck on the 21st, a pickup truck with a novel design that has never been seen before. There is no doubt that it is a car with distinctive pros and cons, but in the official live streaming, the order button was displayed immediately after the streaming ended. It seems that Tesla and EV are still treated as illusions by world manufacturers and car journalists. From that point of view, this Cybertruck also has a great feeling of being done. Frankly, the silhouette from the side is not so sophisticated as a compliment. An appearance that is too straight will look like a design abandonment to enthusiasts. Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video from How It's Made. Before jumping into the video, please subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. Also, hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever we upload a new video. That said, let's begin. Tesla CEO Elon Musk on Tesla Cybertruck Tesla CEO Elon Musk launched the highly anticipated Cybertruck electric pickup in Los Angeles later this year. The car has clearly attracted attention due to its eye-catching and unique design. It looks more like a rover designed for space exploration than a truck. This analogy is particularly appropriate because the Cybertruck coated stainless steel alloy is similar to Musk's other company SpaceX which will use the same shell as its upcoming Starship spacecraft. Musk said on the stage at the unveiling ceremony, yes, it's really bulletproof from a 9mm pistol. This is the strength of it, it is a super hard cold rolled stainless steel alloy developed by us. The Starship rocket will use the same alloy used in Cybertruck. Musk previously revealed at the launch of the full-height interstellar spacecraft NK-1 prototype that its shell will be made of stainless steel, and the other half of the spacecraft will be covered with glass bricks to withstand the highest heat generated by reheating. The super-heavy booster that the interplanetary spacecraft will take when it exits will be completely covered with stainless steel. The reason for using this material is the combination of cost and effectiveness because it is actually very good at withstanding and dissipating high heat. How is the Tesla Cybertruck made? The Cybertruck was inspired by Blade Runner and the Lotus Esprit driven by James Bond in The Spy Who Loved Me, which served as a submarine according to Musk. Because a normal vehicle structure would interfere with the underfloor battery pack, the Cybertruck employs unibody construction, dubbed a exoskeleton by Tesla, similar to most passenger cars, rather than the body on-frame design characteristics of trucks. Its body panels are made of extremely thick 3mm, that's 18-inch 30X series cold roll stainless steel, which cannot be stamped like traditional automotive parts. The panels can only be bent in straight lines, creating a unique faceted shape that has been dubbed low poly or compared to origami. Because it distributes stress more uniformly and allows for more internal capacity, this is the same material that SpaceX employs on their Starship rocket. The exterior panels of the Cybertruck were originally designed to be made of titanium, but this was eventually changed to stainless steel for added strength using an alloy created in-house by Tesla. What's the use of utilizing stainless steel in the Cybertruck? The use of the same stainless steel alloy in Tesla and SpaceX will obviously provide some cost benefits, especially if Cybertruck manages to become a mass-produced vehicle. Cybertruck has another way to benefit SpaceX's work. Elon mentioned this on Twitter before the event. Mars also needs ground transportation. Yes, Musk said in a tweet that the pressurized version of Cybertruck will become the official truck of Mars. As with Elon, it is sometimes difficult to determine exactly the line between the joke and the actual plan through his tweets, but I think in this case he actually means it literally, at least at this stage of the game. How can Cybertruck benefit Tesla and SpaceX? Due to the efficiency of cross-production and engineering, the Cybertruck rover for astronauts on Mars could theoretically benefit both Tesla and SpaceX. As shown by the stainless steel alloy casing, the big advantage of designing things for space has always been that the technology often has really beneficial applications on Earth. At the beginning of the year, Elon Musk said all the pickup trucks so far have the same shape and the concept of Cybertruck is exactly a completely new pickup truck that has never been seen before. Unprecedented and innovative mean not for everyone, especially for existing users, so in this respect it can be said that both design and specifications have been successful. Specifications of Tesla Cybertruck Let's dive into the specifications of the Cybertruck. The cruising range is 500 miles or more, and the drivetrain is a single-motor FR, dual-motor AWD, or a triple-motor AWD with the loading platform. The width is 6.5 feet, about 1.9 meters. To be precise, the luggage capacity of the Cybertruck is 100 cubic feet, about 2,831 liters, and the load capacity is 14,000 pounds or more, about 6,350 kilograms or more. Furthermore, Cybertruck's riding capacity is 6 people, one seat is an auxiliary chair type, while its total length is 231.7 inches, about 5.9 meters, and the overall width is 79.8 inches, and that's about 2 meters. 
Talking about the overall height, it is 75 inches, about 1.9 meters, and hence the ground height is 16 inches, approximately 40 centimeters. The Cybertruck ranges from $39,900 to $69,900. In addition, the adaptive suspension can adjust the vehicle height and lower the loading platform. It also has an AC outlet, 100 to 220 volts, and a charging port for electric motorcycles. At the end of the later year, a four-wheeled electric buggy that fits snugly on the carrier of Cybertruck appeared. Details are unknown, but it may be sold as an option. Of course, an autopilot will also be installed. Like the Model 3, the cockpit has a tablet-type display in the center of the cockpit. The body is made of high-hardness, cold-rolled stainless steel and is unpainted. There is information that a matte black model is also on sale, but it has not been confirmed. Bare stainless steel is reminiscent of the DeLorean of yesteryear, but some media reports that the exterior design may have been inspired by Elon Musk's Lotus Esprit. There was a partial impact. The body is bulletproof and is said to have the bulletproof capability of a 9mm full metal jacket bullet. It is said that the glass is also reinforced bulletproof, but in the demonstration, the iron ball cracked. The general newspaper immediately picked up the accident and reported that Tesla's stock price had fallen. However, bulletproof glass is evaluated for its ability to prevent penetration rather than its ability to repel bullets. The glass is broken, but the iron ball was repelled. In addition, Elon Musk posted a video on Twitter the next day with a comment that the product version will be improved further and repelling the iron ball without breaking in the preliminary test. Besides, a sledgehammer body strength demonstration was also held. This demo was successful with two full swings of the hammer not denting the Cybertruck door. Whether bulletproof performance is necessary for commercial vehicles is subtle, but bulletproof passenger cars are sold in South Africa and there may be a need in Europe and London where security has deteriorated in recent years. What is worrisome is that the strength of the body and glass does not have to be sturdy considering the protection against pedestrians and occupants. The edge-shaped body and fenders and tough skin may be the performance you want for collisions with large beasts, but they increase the aggression against pedestrians in the city. In addition, the unbreakable windshield and side glass are negative in terms of occupant protection. I'm worried about airbags and other occupant protection devices. In the demo video, the tug of war with Ford 5150 and the accelerated confrontation with the Porsche 911 were also introduced. Since it is a demo video, Cybertruck wins in both cases. The tug of war was that the Ford truck was dragged very easily with a squealing sound. EVs that can generate peak torque momentarily can slip the opponent's tires first, so it is natural. If possible, try to compete with Unimog around top gear. EV specialty is not the highest speed, but the acceleration game. 0 to 60 miles per hour is reached in less than 3 seconds. It takes 10 seconds to do a quarter mile, so it is difficult to win with a normal sports car. However, only the heavy duty and the bed, which are the essence of the pickup truck, are left. It is a bulletproof body that does not dent even with a hammer. It became a practical loading platform that could not be imagined from the design. Perhaps Tesla hasn't seen traditional pickup truck users. Excuse me for the cliche, but when a user chooses Cybertruck, Cybertruck also chooses the user. Let us know about the video in the comments section below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. See you in the next video. Goodbye.